Hey Floss 2, it's Elizabeth from Running Stitch and I am back with another update and I am very very late with this update and I <laughs> apologize and I feel actually kind of bad. Um, I said I was going to do a weekly update for Stitch Mania and then I did my first update and then the weekend after that I think was Mother's Day and it was like crazy, crazy busy um, and then the week after that I got sick like spring here right now in Texas has been really wet and really humid and the change in the seasons has like sent my sinuses into overdrive so a couple weekends ago like my face felt like it was about to explode like I felt so bad um, so I didn't even want to record and then last weekend because I I felt so bad the weekend before, like I didn't even want to pull my way, pull myself away from my stitching to make a video. So <laughs> it's been a while, but I'm here and I have a lot to show you. Um, so I wanted to start with my updates from Stitch Mania and um, have a little confession to make because I started something new. Okay, so so first week in May, I did the um, patchwork sampler, and I showed you guys an update on that. So then that brings us up to the second week of May, and I worked on Max in the Adirondacks, which it's a dimensions kit, and it looks like this. So here's where I was before I started, and... Here's what I did during that week. It doesn't seem like much, um, but I didn't get a lot of time to stitch. So I got the, one of the bags started and the like tackle uh, fishing bag started here. So this little bag, the lure, and then I started the big bag. And about 95% of this was done in half stitches. So with the little time that I did get, you know, I, I did get a, quite a bit done. I went, I went pretty fast because, you know, it was mostly half stitches. So, um, yeah. So I started working up that side because um, I have the bookshelf done over here. So I wanted to work over here. So the bottom half is coming in pretty nicely. So there's Max. My goal is to have him finished before the end of this year, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, week three in May, I worked on my Joan Elliott dollhouse. So that's what the finished design looks like. Last time that you saw it, it looked like this. And here's where it is now. Okay. So I got the outline put in for the master bedroom there in the center. And then next to that, the blank area is the little landing, in, like the upstairs hallway. Um, and so the bedroom, I got all the wallpaper done and the floor done. So I just have to put in like trim work and furniture. And um, when I'm working on this, like I kind of, I'm, I'm such a dork. Like, remember when I said in my first video, like I like to do DIY stuff and construction projects around my house. So I've learned like the order of you know, how things are built. And so I kind of like to stitch in the same order on this. So I put in like the frame for the room and then the next thing that would go in are, is the flooring and the walls. And then after that would be the baseboards and the trim work, which is what I'll do next. And then the last things to go in would be the furniture and the rugs and the decorative items so that's 
kind of how I keep myself occupied with this one is working in that sequence and this one's pretty fun because each um, each little object feels like a little tiny finish so that's really nice to kind of stay motivated by looking at it that way so that's the dollhouse and then the fourth week in May I worked on Amish life which is the sky and this is from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine 1987 but it's still so cute okay so here's where it was last time you saw it and now it is So this was an adopted project from my mother and I, I went back and I kind of cleaned some things up. Um, I neatened up some of the three quarter stitches and um, I put in all the back stitch on the distant little farmhouse. I ripped out back stitch on the barn because my mom, for some reason, had backstitched it with two strands and the wrong color. So, ripped all that out and restitched it with the right number of threads and the right color. And um, then I moved down and finished the wheat field, the, the hay stacks in the wheat field. I guess it's a hay field, hay down there. The fence, and um, I got the fence posts in. So, some pretty good progress on this one. And here's my confession. I didn't even finish the week working on this because I started something new. And there's my children. Say hi. Hi. Okay, I'll go. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Bye. Okay. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Say bye, Luke. Okay, go watch your movie. Okay, so I started something new, and um, when I was re-watching my original video from Stitch Mania, um, I had said that I had no plans to start something new unless the itch like, got me and I had to scratch it. Um, yeah, that was adorable. Uh, because the itch got me and I had to scratch it. Um, so I purchased a pattern in a sale from a website called Heaven and Earth Designs. Yeah, I didn't just start anything. Like, you know, something small couldn't call to me or something even medium size couldn't even call to me. No, a Heaven and Earth project called to me. So during the sale, I had bought um, A Stitch in Time by Amy Stewart, and at this, shortly after, sorry, shortly after that, Joann's did their um, four skeins of floss for, what, like a dollar sale? So... It was a no-brainer. I was going to start this project. And I'm not that far along, but I wanted to show it to you because the colors are amazing. So before I show you the actual stitching that I got done, here's my floss box. Isn't that beautiful? And so I went through and I printed out each little symbol and I taped it to my bobbin and then have all the numbers so I don't have to keep looking back through the chart like what color is that symbol it's all right here and it seems to be working pretty well I like it a lot so look at all those beautiful colors and here is 
the actual stitching. Look at that. It's gorgeous. This is on 28 count white Lucana and I'm doing it one over one. So the difference between this one and my other Heaven and Earth design is that um, my first Heaven and Earth design, my, my uh, castle, um, is on 25 count white Lugana, two over one, um, which I love the coverage, but it, it can be kind of a battle getting the needle through because um, it's really thick. Um, but again, I love the coverage. I don't like seeing the fabric come through the design. So um, when I started this one, I, I wanted to do one strand of floss because um, I had been reading from other people that it's not as bulky on the back and it's easier to get the needle through the fabric. Um, but I, I knew I wasn't going to be happy with one strand of floss on over one on 25 count. So I went down to 28 count and I have to say that's probably now my favorite way to do a heaven and earth design is one over one on 28 count. Like it's perfect. Perfect. So I didn't even get through the week finish. Like, um, I didn't even finish out the week working on my Amish life, the farm, um, because I I'd had a rough day at work and I came home and, and I was like, you know, I just want to start something new. Like I need something just to like reward myself for just making it through the day without killing somebody. <laughs> it was one of those days. So I started, um, uh, a stitch in time and I haven't stopped working on it and tomorrow I, I had said that I was gonna um, work on that Halloween uh, quote um, was it ghoulie ghoulies and ghosties and three-legged DCs or whatever it was um, and I I, th I think I'm just gonna scrap that because I just want to stitch on the seven and earth like I, that's all I want to do is just stitch on the heaven and earth design and I'm so excited because summer is getting ready to start. Tuesday is our last day at school. It's a half day. So um, after that, summer starts and I can devote a lot of time to that. Um, speaking of school, I uh, am work. So this is the same thing for me. I have been taking my um, one of my mini chatelaines to work on. And I've gotten a lot done on it. So I wanted to show that to you as well. Because it's been a while since you've seen this one. So I showed these in my first video <clears throat> and I, f I finished the first one and I, and I jumped over and started the third one and I need to go back and do the second one. Um, but uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot done. So here's what it looked like when you saw it last and then here's what it looks like now. So I got all the arbors done, the little gray arches and that's all done in a water lily silk. So I got all those done, and now I'm working on the, um, oh, and I got all the little gates done with the, the petite treasure braid. Uh, and so now I'm working on the hanging flower baskets. So these are all done, and then the top is all done, and so now I'm working on the ones down here. And so there's really not that much left to do. Like, get the flower baskets done, and then those, these two little, um, planters in, there's two of them done, but there's one in each corner, so there'll be four. So get those done, and then a little bit of beading, and this one is finished. So I think this summer I will have my second finish of the year. So yeah, that'll be exciting. Okay, um, that's everything I've been working on since I last saw you. I have, I have some haul, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to show that until I do another update, um, cause I don't have it down here with me and it's all upstairs and I don't really want to pull it out, but I've kitted up two more projects. 
bought a pattern, got a couple new pieces of fabric. What else? I think that's it. Yeah, and it's pretty. I like seeing it all. Okay, uh, so I'm going to finish out this month working on A Stitch in Time. And I don't even know if I want to put that down after May is done. Like, originally, before I started that, originally I wanted to get back to my other projects, like my Mirabilia, my Lavender and Lace, Chatelaine, and my my other Heaven and Earth. Um, and I do. Like, they're not, they're not going to get forgotten about. Um, but... The stitch in time is really calling to me at the moment, so I think I need to keep scratching that itch until it's satisfied. Um, and then I'll pull out the other projects. So, uh, yeah. Quick update. Um, sorry I kind of left y'all hanging for a few weeks. It was crazy pants busy, as May always is, and then I got sick. Uh, not really, like, contagious sick, but... I was out of commission for a couple of days. Um, yeah, so sorry I left you hanging. Um, but I'm here, and everything's great, and summer's about to start, so I couldn't be happier about that. Uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed and liked and commented, and oh my gosh, like, y'all are just, y'all are so amazing. I love this community. It's just incredible, like, all the love that everyone just sends around and it's so supportive and yeah it's just it's pretty cool uh so keep up the good work um love all your mania stuff uh, it'll be neat to see like what everyone does as it all dies down um are people going to keep working on some of their new starts or are they gonna go back and and pull some other things like i was watching jesse marie's video uh just this afternoon and um She's going to start something new for June, but she's going to pull out a whole bunch of old whips for Wine and Whips, which is coming up in Stitch Mania. Um, and I was watching her video, and she was going through the projects that she was going to do. And uh, and she got to the, the last one that she was going to, going to work on, and I was like, please be Frosty Knot Garden. Please be Frosty Knot Garden. So, Jesse, good job on pulling Frosty Knot Garden, because... I've missed that project, and I am so glad that you are going to work on that one. So, good job, girlfriend. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, y'all have a great last couple of days in the month. Um, hope spring has been treating you guys better than it treated me. Uh, and I will um, see you guys next time. Bye.